move on to 1 Timothy 4.16. Pay close attention to yourself and to the teaching. Persevere in these things, for as you do this, you will ensure salvation both for yourself and for those who hear you. Take heed. The King James says, take heed, all right? Paying close attention. Don't be casual about your relationship with the Lord. Don't be casual. This is serious stuff. This is life and death. This is everything that matters in your life for all eternity is your relationship with the Lord. Don't be casual about it. Get that zeal. Get close, all right? Pay close attention to it. Examine yourselves to see if you're in the faith. Test yourselves. Or do you not recognize about this about yourself that Jesus Christ is in you, unless indeed you fail to test? 2 Corinthians 13, 5. Examine yourselves, all right? Take heed, take care. Pay attention to what's going on in your life spiritually. You know, it's not a matter of visiting God once a week in some church building. It's a matter of walking hand in hand with him. That's what he desires, according to the prophet Micah, mm-hmm. right? We, we need to, and you, whatever you want to grow, we were called to cultivate, you nurture. We need to nurture that relationship with the Lord, okay? So you've got, you've got to do that, and you've got to pay attention to the teaching. Let me tell you something. You should pay attention to all teaching that you believe is from the Lord. Mm-hmm. Certainly, if you are being used of God, and that's your ministry, to, to share the word, to teach the word, you better be paying attention to what you're doing. Because from whom much is given, much is required. And you are responsible for what God has entrusted you with. I mean, I take that seriously, all right? But by the same token, if, regardless of where the teaching comes from, if it originates with God, you had better take heed. You had better pay attention, right? And you better test it to the law and to the testimony. If they do not speak according to this word, it is because they have no dawn. That's what God spoke 2,700 years ago through the prophet Isaiah, Isaiah 8.20. All right? You got to test. You got to examine yourself, but you got to test every word that comes out. I mean, every teaching that you hear, you better test it according to the word. And you have to remember, of course, that when one of the scribes, remember this, when one of the scribes came to Jesus and heard him arguing with the Pharisees, right? And recognizing that he had answered them well, he asked him, Jesus, what commandment is the foremost of all? And Jesus answered, the foremost is, hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one, and you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. Mark chapter 12, 28 through 31. Test every teaching against that. Test everything that you hear against that. Is it drawing us closer to have more and more of our lives, our hearts dedicated to the Lord, right? And by extension, you can't love the Lord without loving your neighbor. That's what he said. I mean, I pray that you know what he said when he talked about somebody comes to him and says, you know, and on the day of judgment, he says, well, you fed me when I was hungry. You visited me when I was in prison. You, you clothed me when I was naked. And somebody says, when did we do these things? He said, what you've done to the least of my brethren, you've done to me. So that love that you have, this foremost command for God, had better be extending to, to others, to his, all right? So just by the way, when it comes to the teaching, I, I want to suggest, I want to strongly suggest, I want to very strongly suggest that if you have not lately read the Sermon on the Mount, mm-hmm. I'm talking about Matthew 5, 6, and 7. If you haven't read them lately, and I mean read through the entire thing, not just a verse here and a verse here. I mean sit down and read. Line the, by line. Line by line, those three chapters. If you haven't done that recently, then doing so 
would be a very good way, a great way of paying attention to the teaching as long as you hear it and obey it. I am weak, but thou art strong. Jesus, keep me from all As I walk, let me walk close to Thee. Just to closer walk with Thee. Just to closer walk. Just to closer walk. Grant, Jesus, this my plea. 